Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and sea moths of all ages. Welcome back to Subnautica. So, since the last episode, I haven't really done much. Uh, I was busy with the Terraria videos. Uh, I did make the sea uh, moth depth module, as you saw there, uh, which means that I made the uh, upgrade thing for the moon pool, and I put in a generator here. So you just put the Chinese potatoes, uh, marble melons, whatever, in there. Uh, it looks like we need a bigger uh, planter plot to actually grow those. Um, might have to... I don't know, it says it's still making lantern fruit, so... Okay, anyways, uh, what I want to do today is I'd like to... Uh, get the modification station so that we can upgrade the Seamoth. Uh, get the uh, upgraded depth module, that is, because if you look in here, we only have the depth module mark one. We don't have depth mark mark. We do not have the depth module mark two in here uh, under the Seamoth modules, and it's not under common modules or anything else. Um, yeah, so for that, if we go up here, we do have the blueprint for it. Uh, it's automatically unlocked, I believe. Uh, yeah, Seamoth Depth 2, Seamoth Depth 3, so. Yeah, and another thing that would be nice to get from that would be the ultra high capacity tank and the ultra glide fins. So, let's just change the color of this really quick. I like going uh, super dark with it. Uh, I'm not really sure why, let's go go orange on the inside because I like orange. Um, stripes, let's go I got purple and we gotta come up with a name for this. I have the perfect name the SS uh oh <laughs> because yeah because the ocean is scary and I believe oh we gotta change the color of that because it's if you, you might have been able to see it there. Uh, oh yeah, the name. Uh, let's just make it white. And if you come over here, it should be right there, the SS uh oh So, let's hop in here. Now, I know where the um, modification are. station fragments are. I went to, I tried to hit the M button for to bring up a map. Uh, that obviously doesn't do anything. Uh, no, uh, what I need to do is I go to the beacons over here, the rendezvous, just so I can see where the sparse reef is. So, it is this way. So if we go this way, we will end up in the sparse reef, which is where we can find lithium, and we can also find the, uh, the th fragments I was looking for, the modification station ones. Um, I don't really think there's any other fragments we need today, but as well as that, I'd like to get the depth module mark two and then go check out, maybe not move there today, but go check out the uh, blood kelp zone. And I did look it up. Um, the There is uh, some mixed answers actually, so I'm not super sure, but it sounds like uh, Leviathans can't damage your bases, so we should be safe from the singular ghost leviathan that lives in the blood kelp zone. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, but again, if not, we can always just uh, find somewhere else to live. And now this biome down here, uh, we can actually go down here now that we can go down to 300. Uh, this is the Grand Reef. Uh, pretty sure. I would say I'm pretty sure, just in case I'm wrong, so that people don't make fun of me for being wrong. But this is the Grand Reef. There's these giant things here, and I believe if we go down far enough in one of the Grand Reef biomes, there will be a deep Grand Reef, which is uh, just a cave, and it has uh, um, crab jellyfish things. I don't remember what they're called, but they're big and they actually have like an EMP, 
electromagnetic pulse, so they'll actually turn off like your sea moth and your sea glide and stuff, which is super scary. Uh, and then they'll come and attack you, uh, probably. I'm not sure about that one actually. Uh, I can't remember if they're super aggressive, but I know that if you get too close, they do set off the AMP. So uh, this is the sparse reef here. Um, yeah, we were here last episode uh, looking for lithium, and now we're here looking for modification station uh, fragments. So I'm pretty sure there might be some in here, but if not, you better check it out anyways. We should just check out all of them. Uh, we already have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Actually, I think we have been to this one because we got the... Uh, Oh, oh, maybe not. Light stick fragment. Oh, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, no, I thought that was a modification station thing. Wow, water. How helpful is that? And more water. Actually, water is helpful. I'm uh, being sarcastic about it. Uh, just because that's not very good, like, uh, loot or whatever. I'm just being sarcastic about it. I think I've got something better. I do believe I saw a laser cutter thing on the roof of that. We should actually get that today, uh, too, before we go out too far, or venture out too far, just so that we'll be able to uh, get into all of the wrecks that we find. Um, yeah, because it'll allow us to cut these doors right here. Uh, I'll cut them open, and then we can get inside. Um, it said that there's, like... Uh, it said... They're supposed to be on the ground here, just randomly, and not a part of the wrecks that are in this biome. So that means that they're in the little crates that we've been seeing. Right, we can actually go down here now, uh, because we have 300 meters. Um, actually don't, I don't recognize this little cave here. Kind of sketchy. This wouldn't make a bad base location, but you'd never be able to fit a Cyclops in here, like, at all. Like, not even close. Oh, there's some alien shit over here. So, this is not a scan. We can't scan that. Uh, we can scan these, though. Let's grab these really quick. Uh, this plant, Regris Shell. Uh, Violet. Bow? Bow? Probably bow. Uh, we're not gonna be able to go too far into here. Oh shit, there's a thing here. So this is uh, one of the things I was telling you about before, is that there's alien structures on the planet here. And uh, if we had brought our purple tablet there that we got on the island, I would be able to get in here. I don't remember what this facility is. Um, or what it's for, I mean. But yeah, you just put it put it on there and it acts like a key and it opens the door and then we can go in. And I believe it's dry in there, or it should be anyways. Um, um, you know what, I'm probably gonna head back to base actually and make the laser cutter, uh, if I can. Let me check the recipe of it. Uh, if not, then I will get the things to be able to make it, and then I will probably bring you back when we find some fragments or find something interesting in this biome. And then we'll probably work on the, where is it? I know I have it, ah, oh yeah, I have all that stuff at home. Uh, and then we'll work on making the depth module mark two for the Seamoth, and then we will probably head to the um, to the blood kelp zone just so we can check it out so I will be back probably to this wreck because uh, we know that there's a cuttable door there and then yeah I'll see you guys then okay so we're back at that wreck we were at before, and I now have the laser cutter. So if we just hold right-click on this, uh, 
we will cut it open. And it takes quite a while, and we'll probably run back to the seamoth for oxygen after it's done. But, yeah, I also crafted up a bunch of these, uh, what are they called, the beacons, uh, like I said I would a while ago. Uh, just so that we could... Uh, and here it is. Here's a modification station right now. Uh, just so we could, like, track uh, biomes that we've been in and stuff. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, holy shit, that was way too close. We almost... We almost died there. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the oxygen. I said we should probably go back after that, and then we didn't, and I almost died. Okay, uh, I forgot what I was saying. That was really scary. <laughs> um, we don't need that because we got that last time we were in this wreck. Um, command chair? I don't think it shows us these ones twice. Yeah, no, we got that. Um, you saw there we got the reinforced diving suit. We'll probably put that on after we repair the Aurora. Or we'll probably make one and put one on after we repair the Aurora. Or after we move at least. Uh, just so we don't have to wear the radiation suit forever. Man, I completely forgot what I was saying before I almost died there. That was rattling. <laughs> I saw, I take, I glanced down at the oxygen and like, I almost like pooped myself there. I was like, oh, I really don't want to die today. Um, where was the, I know that there is another door we can cut through on a wreck close by that one. I think it was this one? Yeah, right here. Um, I, I didn't actually see how many, uh, modification station fragments we were going to need, because I almost died there. Um, I think I was saying something about the beacons. Um, as you can see, I put one there, the sparse reef, uh, base, red grass, um, so yeah, if we ever need to know where those are, uh, we don't need that, we don't need that, power cell charger, uh, uh, oxygen, 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 power cell charger, uh, you can put the power cells that you use for the Seamoth, excuse me, uh, in there, and it'll charge them using the base's energy, but it already charges them uh, when we put the Seamoth in the moon pool. But once we get the uh, Cyclops, we can't dock the Cyclops in a moon pool because it is obscenely ginormous. So that will be what we use to do that. And can we get in here? Or is this just... I don't think we can get in there. Oh, uh, we get another Cyclops fire suppression system. That's good to know, or good to have, I guess. So, uh, the Cyclops, when it gets damaged, will basically set up a fire. You have to run around, put the fires out, and um, seal all the holes, and I guess that will put out the fires automatically, uh, which is nice. I don't think I got that uh, the last time I played Subnautica. Um, hmm. There's some boxes down here, but I think I checked these already. Um, I don't think, I don't, these are, I forget what these are called. They're like gel sacks or something. These little plants here? Yeah, gel sacks. Um, I mean, I might as well pick them up over here. Uh, use these to make a uh, chemical. I don't, I don't remember which one it is, but it's, uh, it's important. I know that much. Uh, I'm gonna grab this shale, because we need some lithium for something. Oh, um, while I was back at base, I actually put two more upgrades into the Seamoth here. We now have a storage module and perimeter defense, so it'll shock any small, uh, aggressive creatures that get too close to it. And the storage just gives us a little bit of storage that we can put stuff in when we're out and about. Uh, uh yeah. I think I'll probably just... Well, let, let's see here. Uh, let's go to blueprints, and it'll probably be under Cyclops upgrades. No base something. Base modules. Yeah, we need two more modification station uh, uh, fragments. So I'll probably just grab those really quick, and then I'll meet you guys back at base after I've made the Seamoth upgrades, probably, and then we will make our way to the 
uh, blood kilt on. Okay, so I've just been kind of swimming around looking for fragments. I haven't found any more, but I did get a shit ton of lithium. And I found one of these time capsules. And these are something that players can leave for each other. They can put items in. And you see we've got a bunch of stuff there, and then you can also upload screenshots of it. So, yes. Peter is not lie, helps have a companion, so as I leave these items in my friend's stasis speeds. Yeah. And it just gave us all of the stuff in the picture there, as well as a creature egg. I'm just going to drink that right now, because we need it. Uh, yeah. Just some like cosmetic stuff and eventually we're gonna have to leave one of those we'll probably leave it like right at the end of the season season right at the end of the series um and put some hopefully helpful stuff in it uh yeah well uh, did i say we needed it for an achievement i think i did uh anyways back to looking for fragments detecting multiple leviathan class Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Okay, so that message just scared the shit out of me. Uh, sent shivers down my spine and gave me goosebumps. So that's nice. Uh, I thought this was still a sparse reef, but it might be a new biome. I'm still not really sure. Uh, it might be because we're close to a different biome, but I don't know. I will. Be on high alert now because uh, it probably means uh, reapers which are the scariest uh, in my opinion actually I should I don't want to hop out anymore oh just speaking of reapers there's one right there <laughs> oh we're at 28 28 uh, health left on our little seamoth here I'm gonna head back this way um, just so we can like hopefully chill behind this cliff here and hopefully he will stay the hell over there um yeah oh shit i have to replace this uh repair tool five uh tab not that button and repair okay um yeah i not really sure which biome this is in but I believe we are close to the uh, mushroom tree biome, so mm, he's still up there. I don't like that. That's way too close. Oh, uh, we're we're getting way too close. <laughs> uh, I believe this is close to the mushroom biome. Hopefully. Uh, uh, because the mushroom biome can also have the uh, fragments that I'm looking for. This biome right here, the uh, mushroom trees, uh, can also have the fragments we're looking for. And I, if I recall, uh, that, I don't like those sounds. <laughs> if I recall, it can also have Cyclops fragments. And that's just a thing that we'll, we're like slowly working towards. Like at some point, we're going to need it. Ah, uh, yeah, see? Right here. Uh, Cyclops Hall Fragment. Like, at some point, we're going to need the uh, Cyclops. Uh, just because there's certain things that are super deep, and we need the Cyclops for them. Um, yeah, I saw something up there. I think it was just an Amp Eel. Not really sure. Uh, more Cyclops Fragments, I think. Yeah, another Hull Fragment. This gives us three out of th I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nice. Uh, so, let's check it out here. We now have the hull and the bridge, and we only need one more engine fragment. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we'll probably get that without even trying. Oh, uh hmm. It's really hard to maneuver through here and, like, not damage yourself, because if you run into any of these trees, it does damage to you. Uh, just like if you run into a cliff or anything else. Um, yeah. I hope... I hope I'm able to find these fragments. Uh, if anything else happens, of course, I am always recording. Okay, so not 
20 seconds from the last clip, I find this wreck balancing on top of the tree here, uh, the mushroom tree. And we're just gonna check it out. I'm not sure what it has in it. Hopefully it's useful. Hopefully it is the fragments we need. Uh, I, should, I should really not be wasting time, like at all. Um, because we still don't have a whole lot of oxygen to be messing with. All right, we're gonna open this, run back for more oxygen in the Seamoth. I'll we'll probably try and pull the Seamoth um, around down there. Uh, if we touch that, we'll get damaged, so we're going to try to not do that. Um, hello? Oh. Nice. <gasps> two more. I mean, two. I mean, we're good now. That's all of them. So now I can head home. Alright, now I'll probably... Not probably. I'm going to head home and make up those things I said I was going to make once we had that. I'll probably stop and grab a few more things on the way. If we run into a thing or if I die or whatever, I'll bring you back before then. But the next time I see you, I will probably have both of the Seamoth upgrades. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. So I just grabbed, or uh, I just got the uh, upgrades, Seamoth uh, Depth Module Mark III, and I just wanted to do a self scan there because I figured we were getting uh, pretty close, or I figured we would have uh, some signs of infection, but I guess not. Oh, we gotta put these radiation gloves back on, and we're gonna start hurting. All right, so. 900 meters so we can now fully explore the blood kelp zone in its entirety uh, because I believe it only goes down to about it goes down to about uh, 600 something meters so we can go really really far down now if we want to now I know I said uh, in the first episode, I believe, I wasn't going to be looking at a map. Uh, but I want to look at the map for this, uh, just so I know where I'm going. And I don't look like an idiot when it takes me half an hour to find it. Um, crater map. Here we go. Okay, so... Mushroom forest. Okay, so we kind of know where the mushroom forest is. Uh, that's the blood kelp trench. Uh, I believe the mushroom forest is in this direction. Uh, I listened to a thing and we got that. So while I uh, try and find the blood kelp zone, uh, let's just listen to a couple uh, voice logs that I got. So, uh, life pod four. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Out. So that's life pod four. Uh, I this is the one we're going to right now. Yaki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? So, yeah, there's that. Uh, and we got another message from Sunbeam. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda. And we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good. No good without the bad. 
Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Uh, when we hopped out of the uh, habitat there, I believe we got another message from Sunbeam. So if we do that, uh, if we listen to that radio frequency, we'll get a timer uh, as to when they'll land. And I don't want to do that today, so that's why I ignored that radio message. Oh, oh, oh that I was like, that's a freaky sound. I wonder what that is. Yep, Reaper. So... I'm just trying to keep an eye on him uh, because we have to go this way even if we don't want to uh, Okay, that's just a warper is what that sound is. I'm actually not sure what this biome is we're going into maybe the underwater islands I've got the map open uh, on my phone right next to me here So I actually don't know if we're faster than a reaper, but it looks like he was not interested uh, Orper chasing after us. Um, actually, okay, I thought there was a crash down here. It does not look like it. Um, not finding the uh, mushroom forest here. And even though I'm looking at the map, it's not super. Uh, it's helpful. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the most helpful thing. Uh, because, uh, fun fact. Uh, the life pod crashes in a different spot uh, every time you play a new game. So you can't relatively, or you can't like look at the crash pod, or the life pod crash spot to tell you where you are. Uh, we're just gonna pop up to the surface here, just so I can take a look at where in relation to the ship we are, because like the Aurora, I'm gonna actually pop out here. Uh, we, oh, uh, you can see it kind of glitching out there. Uh, so I think we're headed in the right direction. Uh, I hope so. Um, yeah, look, it looks like it. It looks like we're headed in the right direction. So we're just gonna have to go back down here and then just keep heading this way, I believe. Uh, because on the map, it is not called the Aurora. It's actually the crash zone. It's an entire biome. Uh, oh, here's the, uh, here it is. Uh, it's, it's an entire biome because everything around it is just, uh, destroyed, basically. Um, I think we have this already, but I'm gonna scan it. Brown suit drill arm. Uh, if you see on the left there, we have 200 and something oxygen. Oh, sweet, we, we unlocked it. We didn't have it before. Um... See on the left there, we have like 225 oxygen. So I upgraded a bunch of our stuff with the uh, modification station just so that we would, uh, there's another reaper over there, uh, just so that we would uh, have more oxygen because we were, we still had the basic like oxygen tank. We didn't even have the upgraded one. So I upgraded it twice and now we have 225. So. It is actually really nice, and there's another thing we could get uh, called the... Oh shit, there's two reapers. I don't think I've ever seen two reapers on screen before when they're not munching on my cheeks. Uh, ooh. Okay, I know that this is like an important story zone. I'm going to put a marker in here. Uh, like a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, a beacon. Um, just because I don't want to do this today either, I just want to find the stupid base area. Alien shit. Okay. So, that's in here. Oh, holy shit. Okay, um, I actually don't know how to deal with that. Uh, if we go out there, he's gonna eat us. If we go out there, he'll probably break the Seamoth. Uh... Let's just repair this and make a run for it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, I am uh, in the process of shitting a brick right now. That is super freaky, and I hate it. Uh, it looks like he's kind of glitched into the wall there. Uh, yeah, he was super glitched into the wall there. 
Oh man, I wish I knew what this this biome we're in is. It looks like it could be the mountains. Uh, which would mean... Okay, we lost them. Um, which would mean that we're going in the right direction still. I honestly, on the map, it looked like it was pretty far away. I didn't think it was this far away. Uh, this is, this is probably the mountains, yeah. Now, if you go, if you look at the map, and if you go, you see that there's blackness all around the map. And that is actually technically a biome. Um, it is, like, called the Crater's Edge or something. And this might be it, actually. No, 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 this looks like it, it's probably the Blood Kelp Zone. Uh, no. No, no, this is the Crater's Edge. Yup, yup, run, run away, crater edge, run away, run away, run away, run away, run the ever-loving pits away from that. Okay, we didn't spawn one, we didn't spawn one. Okay, so, if you watch my intro video, um, what the hell was that? Okay, that scared the shit out of me. If you watch my intro video, at, uh, one part, I think it's in the thumbnail, actually, uh, at one part, uh, I run into a ghost leviathan, and now if you go into the crater's edge biome, you'll actually run into, or spawn, I guess, adult uh, ghost leviathans, uh, if you stay in there for too long, because that's just the game's way of saying, hey, there's nothing here, go away, <laughs> basically, uh, in a very violent and destructive way. <laughs> um, yeah, and they... I, in my opinion, they're honestly not as scary as the Reaper Leviathans, because they can't pick up your ship, your Seamoth. Uh, they'll kill you in one bite, still, if you're outside, but... Oh, we found it! Nice. Um, but they can't pick up your Seamoth. Now, they can do an absolute shitload of damage to it, but they cannot pick it up, which is why I think it's a whole lot less scary for you to just get randomly hit and take a whole bunch of damage than it would be for you to... Uh, to get picked up out of nowhere. And I think that's a whole lot scarier. So, here it is. This is the biome I would like to be living in. Uh, it is kind of gross, kind of scary looking. I'm hoping to find, like, an area with a bunch more of these blood kelp plants. And uh, maybe we could live in the caves. Uh, I'm not sure. Now, there is an adult, uh, ghost leviathan in this biome. Uh, somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Uh, this is the cave, and you can see these are supposed to be the roots of the blood kelp plants. Um, I don't want to live down here uh, for several reasons. Well, not really. I just I just don't want to live down there. I want to live in the actual blood kelp zone here. Uh, it looks like there's a life pod crashed way down here. Uh, yeah, so there, there is an adult Reaper Leviathan, or not Reaper, uh, Ghost Leviathan living here somewhere. Now, I don't know where he is, and he'll probably scare the bejeebus out of us at some point uh, during this episode. Okay, sweet, so that's the Cyclops Step Module Mark 1. Uh, Banded PDA. Okay, uh, we can actually listen to that really quick. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to access the bilge map. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. Right. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay, that bone shark scared me, so, uh, yeah, they, they sank. <laughs> uh, and then they ran out of oxygen, and they pro probably got eaten by amp eels, to be honest. Um, I believe when you get close to the aurora, uh, okay, that's a new sound. And um, that is probably the ghost leviathan, wherever it is. It might actually be in the cave. Nope, it's the crab, crab octopus thing. Octopus crab, that's what it is. Uh, those things, those are the EMP things I was telling you about earlier. Um, 
yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, when I when you get close to the aurora, uh, you get a message saying something about uh, nearby scans show that um, there is human tissue detected in the digestive systems of nearby creatures. So basically, anybody that survived the crash was likely just eaten by everything. <laughs> so yeah. Now this is a freaky, freaky area to live in. And you're probably asking yourselves, again, why on earth would I want to live here? And, uh, basically, uh, just because I thought it would be a challenge, and honestly, it creeps the hell out of me, too. Like, if you think this is creepy, it creeps the hell out of me, too. You're, you're not alone. Um, this actually looks like a nice area right over here. There's quite a bit of flat zone. We could probably park uh, Cyclops around here somewhere. Um ampules and shit, but they won't attack the base. As far as I read, I did do a little bit of research, as far as I read, uh, fauna does not attack uh, habitats. Oh, actually, this area over here looks sick. There's so many creepy sounds here, dude. <laughs> uh, we could probably live on like this little pla plateau zone right here. Okay, if anything was the ghost leviathan, it is that. That sound. That sound was the ghost leviathan. If... Oh yeah, now we're getting some freaky music. I, I don't see it though, which is what freaks me out the most. I mean, it could have been the uh, octopus crab. I think that's what they're called. I don't, I don't remember. But that sound was, that sound was freaky as hell. Um... Okay, I don't want to spend too much time rambling on and, like, just looking for the base here, but... Looking for a base location, but... Yeah, I don't remember what the... Okay, this is back over by the life pod. Uh, I believe this is probably the same one we were just at. Oh, uh, yeah, because we opened that up. Uh, we might live in a cave. I'm not sure. You know what? How about this? I'll take a look around. If I see the ghost leviathan or I find a good place to live, then I will bring you back. Actually, you know what? In saying that, I like this. I like this spot right here. It's about 450 meters down. Uh, there's caves and shit around it, but I think this is going to be the spot. So I doubt I will get to building that today uh, because it's late. It is uh, two in the morning currently. <laughs> um, but I will put down a marker right here and say that this is the place that I want to live. So let me hop out, grab a beacon, and name it uh, base two. Mm, base two. Okay, excuse me. So we'll probably live right around here somewhere. Um, I do want to scam one of those little crab things I saw walking around here. One of these. Uh, they're probably hostile. Blood crawler. Sounds hostile. Looks creepy and gross. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna explore around just a little bit more and see if I can find anything better than this spot. Uh, if not, and if I don't see anything else interesting, then I will head back to base and end off the episode. Uh, in between episodes, I'll probably move base, uh, because it'll be boring to see me move about 600 metric tons of resources over here. Um, and that's probably all I'll do, to be honest. Hopefully I'll actually get it done this time, uh, because I said I wanted to do stuff in between episodes last time, and then didn't get any of it done. So, we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. But, uh, yeah. If not, I'll do it uh, during my time for next episode. Oh, I found it. I found the ghost leviathan. That is him right there. Uh, he is big. He's bigger than the ghost of uh, the reapers. Um, and yeah, I think it would be cool to live around him just to know that he's like a constant threat. And if we uh, screw up, we die. But I have my butt pushed into the wall right now. And yeah, so this is, uh, as you can see over there, it's about 400 meters away from where I wanted to do the base. And actually, 
This area over here is looking pretty cool. So we might actually settle down in this little crater here, just below where the Reaper look, or the, uh, uh, having a brain shark right now, uh, where the ghost leviathan is. So let's, let's do this, let's do this. Uh, because where's the fun in having a nice, safe base location with uh, no chance for death? Uh, there is none, so I'm going to go pick up that beacon and then uh, head home and end off the episode. Okay, so... We're back. Um, I just realized that I should probably get the whole reinforcement module for the steam off there uh, if we're going to be living near a big dangerous fish uh, because on my way back it actually slapped my sea moth uh, just with its tail. It didn't do any damage I don't think but it uh, chased me for quite a bit and it uh, scared me quite a lot <laughs> uh, but we're fine we made it back okay. Um, in between episodes like I said I'll probably move bases um, hopefully I won't die, uh, because I'm stupid, but, uh, after that, I'll probably give you a tour of the new base, and then we might go check out the, uh, sunbeam thing, and then we might go repair the aurora. I'm not really sure, but that, that's probably all we'll do in the next episode. Uh, but anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't, though, that's fine. Maybe I'm just not your cup of tea. But anyways, have a great day. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. And goodbye for now.